Good morning, afternoon or evening to you and bienvenido or welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and Beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived in this resort for over 20 years and I aim to give you a fresh and an original take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in and around Benidorm. So here we go. Today I'm taking you on a walk along a section of Avenida de Estocolmo or Stockholm Avenue which is situated in the Rincon de Loix area. At over two miles long, it starts from Cay Manila by the beachfront and runs right the way along to Carre Napoles. But today we start at the junction with Cay de Amsterdam, where in front of us on the corner, we see the three-star Hotel Rialto. Built in 1973 and then renovated in 2002, the Rialto has 133 rooms over its seven floors and offers free Wi-Fi throughout. Part of the popular Servi Group chain, it is currently closed for the winter but will reopen again on April the 28th and whilst it will miss the Easter period, which is often busy with Spanish holiday makers and British families, it will certainly be ready for the summer season ahead and with a brand new look. During the time it's been closed, all its old balconies have been removed front and back and replaced with bright blue modern ones to match the other hotels in the chain. Exterior walls have been tidied up of any debris and smoothed out and cleared down, then repainted a nice bright white instead of the previous peachy tone. In addition, the walls and ceilings of the balconies have also been freshened up in white and now look much cleaner and more appealing, especially when lit up at night. The hotel is currently ranked 28th out of 196 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and has a guest rating of 4.5 out of 5, placing it firmly in the excellent category. Moving on and passing the private parking area for the Rialto, we now walk by a row of private villas which I have always thought look rather charming. And the ones that have been completely reformed in the last few years look especially smart. Behind the houses is a small private lane and a swimming pool and gardens area which I believe can be seen from the rear balconies of the Hotel Rialto. Approaching the corner we come to the junction with Quai Londres or London Street which we now cross. Immediately in front of us we see the large bar and restaurant of Sondaire which is part of the ever-growing Uncle Ron's group in Benidorm and in fact they also own the original Uncle Ron's pub and the pie and mash shop further down the hill. Sondaire however offers an elegant and classy interior as well as a fabulous sun trap terrace and here you can enjoy a variety of cocktails and beer bucket deals or maybe sample their British style food or their Spanish tapas offerings. Sundays are reserved for good old British roasts and Fridays are Chip Shop Fridays where you can order a selection of Chip Shop classics for just €6 Euros, with chips and peas or beans and these include a medium sized cod, two battered sausages, spam fritters, saveloy sausage or even a battered burger or black pudding. Live sports are also shown and there is a pool table for customers use and large parties are catered for with cocktail making classes available if you book in advance. Carrying on, we pass storage units for the bar and its other venues, and then we see the recently opened hairdressing salon of Antonia Rubio. Above is the apartment block of Villa Capri, which offers one and two bedroom apartments, and these are mixed between private residential accommodation and holiday let, which can be found via a quick search on the usual online booking sites. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. If you want to find out about some of Benidorm's most popular hotels, then why not check out my great series of vlogs giving you an unbiased look inside and out. Just search YouTube, fly on the wall, followed by the name of the hotel you're looking for, and all the info will be at your fingertips, it's that simple. Continuing along, we next see the terracotta brick apartment block of Edificio Monver 4, and underneath this is a small local hairdresser's called Pelacaria Impacto. Carrying on, we now reach the three key apart hotel Levante Lux, which we enter to have a look around. Part of the BCL Hotel Group, they also own two other apart hotels in the immediate area, so you really are spoilt for choice. The Levante Lux offers 57 one or two bedroom apartments over its 15 floors, and the building was renovated in 2002 and then more recently in 2021. 
As we walk into the ground, we see a children's playground area to our right, along with landscaped gardens and a wide tiled walkway area. Further to our right is the swimming pool with smaller children's pool attached and also the large solarium area with ample sun lounges stacked up ready for the upcoming hotter months along with plenty of shade under the surrounding trees. Music plays at a soft level in the background and this tranquil neighbourhood is an ideal spot to relax in with the many bars and restaurants along Quai Londres which we crossed only a few minutes ago just metres away. Inside you can see a modern cafe bar offering drinks and snacks along with a pool table and TV and you can choose either to eat and drink inside or in the outdoor terrace where blue tables and chairs are provided. Holiday packages can be found to the Levante Lux at Thomas Cook, First Choice and Tui and also via several online reservation websites including Booking.com, Love Holidays and On The Beach. The Apart Hotel is currently ranked second out of 101 apartments in Benidorm and TripAdvisor UK with a guest rating of 4.5 out of 5, putting it in the excellent category. Leaving the complex and back on Avenida Estocolmo once more, in the far distance we can see the beautiful local mountain ranges ahead along with some pretty white wash villas to the left. And then we reach the corner junction with Avenida Roma where we see the apartment block Europa Gardens in front of us and this is where we end today's vlog. I hope that you've enjoyed this info-packed stroll with me today and if you have, please check out some of my other videos which cover other street and beachfront walks, reviews on Benidorm's most popular hotels, cafes and bars, as well as lots of news and updates on things that are happening around the resort. And if you have any suggestions, then please let me know. I'll see you out and about on Benidorm streets next time and thanks so much for watching as always. Hasta luego, ciao for now and catch you again next time. Cheers!